What's up guys? Welcome to a full day of eating. Today is day 22 and I'm live from my New Hampshire camp kitchen. <laughs> so um, we're going to start off today with avocado toast, bacon and eggs. Real simple day of eating and that's basically it and I'll show you how we're going to make it. So let me turn the camera down and you can watch and follow along. So right here we're just toasting up our bread. Um, I already made the bread up ahead of time. I will insert a picture right here. <laughs> um, but this is a delicious toast and I think it tastes best if you just toast it. Um, you can have it not toasted right out of the microwave but I think it just tastes overall a lot better if you just warmed it up and made it taste like a true breakfast toast. So I, here's a picture of it before I cook it, and or cook, toast it, and the noise in the background is the air fryer, so sorry about that. So anyways, I'm going to cook up all the toast, and then I have taken a avocado, and I sprinkled garlic powder, onion powder, and salt and pepper, and mashed it around. So that's going to be like my butter for my toast. And then, last but not least... Here's the bacon I'm using. I will do three slices for myself, a um, bunch of my kids, and then some eggs. So it's a nice hearty lunch, and I will show you when it's time. I'll be right back when it's time to cook up the next step. All right, next up we have the Canadian bacon in the pan. The toast is ready to go. Just need some avocado on there. And here is the avocado. take some yummy guac and spread it on the toast. Okay, so we're going to make pesto chicken. I have two pounds of chicken thighs, boneless skinless thighs, and I'm just going to make this real simple. Sorry, the washing machine's going in the background, that's the noises. Um, I'm going to put a half cup of pesto in here and taking tongs, mix it around and just let it sit. And then we will do diced um, some vegetables. So let's get that going. Next thing we're do going to do is we're going to cut up some summer squash and I'm also serving with this leftover broccoli. So just need to get a cutting board, a knife, all right so I'm going to wash my squash. Okay, so when I do squash on the grill, I like to do it in big hunks. And that just makes it so it doesn't fall between the grates on the grill. So the main thing is get it decently even sized pieces, but do large pieces. It's okay, like this one was just three. <laughs> Throw them in your little veggie pan. and repeat. 
Um, when you buy squash, I have to tell my mom, my mom this. It's um, she was nice enough to have this all ready for us when we showed up here in New Hampshire. Um, but you're gonna want squash that's not so thick in the middle. Um, see how thick that is? It doesn't make for an even piece. So you're trying to want to get a little bit more of a more zucchini-like shape. Um, and that just makes you have a little less seeds in the middle. Um, I'm just going to take my knife and take some of that bulk off because we don't really need it. And pop them in there. And then once these are all diced up, we're going to just put some avocado oil, salt and pepper. So I'll meet you back here at that step. Okay, now that we're all diced up, we're just going to take some olive oil and put it over the top. I'm going to do two tablespoons. And this is just so it doesn't stick to the grill. Um, if you don't want to grill your squash, feel free to just put it in a baking pan and roast it in your oven or smart oven or whatever you have. And then also pink salt. And then next, I'm just gonna take some tongs and give that a toss. And so that everything is coated. Um, and then I'm gonna put fresh pepper on them when I'm on the grill. So I just like some fresh cracked pepper. Just toss these around. Make sure everything is coated with some oil. And I used avocado oil, if I didn't mention. I don't know if I said that. But the main thing is you want all of these pieces to be around the same thickness so that they cook relatively um, evenly. And that is ready for the grill. And the last thing I'm going to do is um, go preheat my grill and I'll meet you back out there Here's the outdoor kitchen and look who I found It's Jesse's dad. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> How's keto going? Keto's going good. Still fitting my 36 pants <laughs> We got the coals going <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> it's important not to set it back on the wood. So we'll put it over here on top of this. <laughs> Look who I found. Hi. What's going on? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How is it? How you doing? Doing good. Working on a recipe. Ooh. Care to tell what? I have to tweak my jalapeno, pickled jalapenos. Ooh. Want to get the chicken? Howdy. 